The fact that we could have an AI organ donor before too long is a weird sciencey fact that boggles my mind. People have a lot of parts, and sometimes those parts need to be replaced. But unfortunately, unlike swapping a fuel pump on your Ford, it's a bit more complicated to make parts for people. Despite how complex it can be, though, science has made a lot of advancements. New knees and hips made out of metal can give grandma and grandpa a helping hand to stop hobbling around. Pacemakers can keep a heart with white person rhythm on time. And dialysis machines can clean your blood when your kidneys can't. But despite Despite all of these life-saving medical technologies, there's a lot of things people just can't manufacture a fix for. And sadly, in those situations, it often requires used parts from a donor. And while thankfully, bone marrow, kidneys, and liver can be donated from a living donor, those are still an incredibly painful and invasive process for both parties. And even if you do find somebody kind enough to donate that to you, there's still no guarantee it'll take. And other organs like hearts and lungs require a donor that is dearly departed, and unfortunately, those aren't as easy to schedule. And so while finding any organ donation is difficult, that adds an obstacle that many people desperately in need of a transplant just can't overcome. That is incredibly sad because that means there is always more people desperately in need of a transplant than there is organs available for them. Now there has been some amazing medical advances with transplanting organs from other animals like pig hearts, but even that technology is in its infancy and does not address all of the issues associated with transplants. So scientists have turned back to technology and they've been trying all kinds of things like growing organs in a lab and now even 3D printing organs. So while 3D printing has shown some great promise, it also has some problems. First being is that printing live cells layer by layer in a traditional 3D printing format is difficult. Live cells are fragile and being handled by a printer is highly stressful on them. However, scientists have developed protective nutrient gel that can protect the cells through the printing process, but even with that, it's still a delicate procedure that is prone to failing, and even when it is successful, it takes an incredibly long time to print a functional organ. Time that is incredibly hard and stressful on the cells, and time that a patient may not have. But there's a new type of 3D printing that involves freaking laser beams. It's called volumetric 3D bioprinting. These printers work by having these cells in a nutrient gel, and then they spin the gel, and the gel reacts to lasers. And when they shoot the lasers in, the gel solidifies. And somehow, because they're freaking super geniuses, they figured out how to use that process to 3D print an organ instantly. This doesn't put the cells under any stress. It doesn't take any time. It's almost perfect. Almost. See, cells need blood to keep them alive, and to get that blood requires blood vessels. And in a traditional 3D printing format, that's not a problem. You know where all of your cells are going to be before you start printing in that scenario, and you can print your vascular structure exactly where you need it. But because with volumetric printing, the whole thing is spinning and happening instantly, you don't know where the cells are going to be before you start. And people don't have the brain power to design a cardiovascular system on the fly. But AI does. It's called Generative Adaptive Context Aware 3D Printing or grace. I feel like they got a little liberal with that acronym. Go ahead and write that one down. Generative, adaptive, context-aware 3D printing and try to figure out how the fuck they got grace from that. So generative makes up the G and R somehow. Then they put a hyphen in context-aware to get rid of the extra A word. And I have no idea where the E comes from unless they're using the three in 3D as an E. It's a stretch, guys, is, is all I'm saying. But regardless of how badly acronymed grace may be, it's still an incredible piece of technology. Because grace has the ability to not only see where all the cells are while the 3D printing process is going on, but it can design the cardiovascular system accordingly in real time. Which means that GRACE is the missing link for instant organs. Potentially, at least. It's still very new technology. And as long as our future AI overlords don't use this technology to build biological robots to rule the world, this could save a lot of lives. Because not only could it increase the supply of organs available for transplant, but these organs could be custom made to order exactly for what the patient needs using the patient's own cells, almost eliminating the risk of rejection. It also means the organs would be available exactly when the patients needed them. People would no longer need to rely on somebody else's misfortune and tragedy to save their own lives. And it could eliminate the need for living donors who would have to agree to painful and dangerous surgery to donate one of their own organs or tissues. And the fact that this Terminator technology could tangibly transform the terminal into total treatable? Well, that is pretty mind-boggling.